Turning now to a Fox 16 News update, those living in Perryville mourning the loss of correctional officer Jeremiah Story, who authorities say was shot and killed by an inmate. Today, friends and family are opening up about the impact he had on the community and those he had close ties with. Officer Evans first met Story back in November when she started working at the jail. She says Story was paired with her during training, and during that time, her administration would get on to them for wrestling and joking around. But she said he always made the time go by faster and that he would message other officers every morning. He wanted to know what happened. Did everything, was everything okay? What, what did they eat? Did we book anybody new in? Did, you know, everyone behave? He wanted basically a pass down as to what happened the night before because he cared. Officer Evans says Story loved his job and loved working in public service. She said he had plans of becoming a state trooper one day and that no matter what, he will never be forgotten. Tonight, a candlelight vigil is scheduled to be held at the Perry County Detention Center at 8.30. And visitation for Jeremiah's story started today at 5 o'clock at Harris Funeral Home in Moralton. Funeral services are tomorrow afternoon at 2 and will be held at Perryville First Baptist Church. We will stream that service live on our website, fox16.com.